Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for the 22nd to the 28th of January. I am Charlene Lizette. If you uh, can see this, no you can't. I was drinking some tea and anyways. You know, sometimes things happen Capricorn. All right, let's dive in here. Temperance, Queen of Wands, death. Okay, what are you doing? The Ace of Pentacles, the star. The Three of Cups. And the Seven of Cups, Four of Swords at the bottom. What are you doing indeed? Okay. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. Karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Get one, please. Cancer energy, mother. Also divine feminine energy. The moon. We have the full moon and Leo happening on the 25th. Okay, so let's dive in. Sorry, I just realized that I may have not set the camera up properly. I want you at least to see the cards on the table. I'll flip them up for you in a minute. Um, I want to start off just quickly with one thing uh, to say before we dive deeper into this. Your intuition... Your gut, um, whatever you feel or sense is, is like, it is, if that makes sense. There's this certain aura around you this week at Capricorn where you know things before you know things, but on a very deep level. And you're, you may also find yourself wanting to dive deeper into this uh, potentially newfound ability. For some of you, you may be cracking open your psychic abilities. For others of you, you may be realizing that um, what you thought was coincidence is actually not coincidence. It's your intuition. It's your superpower. It's your ability to see and conceptualize and understand things before they happen, okay? It's a deep knowing, all right? Now, we start off your reading with temperance here showing up. This is alchemizing with the universe. So just adding on to what I was just sh sharing with you all, this is you uh, having the patience, ebbing and flowing with the, with the cycles of life. This is you also understanding that when we experience some sort of delay or some sort of difficulty or some sort of challenge, it is best for us to flow with the, uh, with the um, motions of the ocean rather than try to resist. I don't know if I was telling you guys this before about, um, you know, if you get sucked into a, um, into a, uh, oh my God, they have them in Costa Rica. What's the name? Um, into, they're not a tide. It's a, I don't know why words are failing me right now. Um, it's basically um, where uh, you're in the ocean and a section of the ocean as it comes into shore uh, starts going the opposite way. And so it can suck you back into the ocean in a very, uh, very scary, very brute way. And basically you don't undercurrent. There we go. But you don't want to, you don't want to resist in the undercurrent at that time. What the universe is saying here is don't try and resist. Go with the flow. If there's any resistance, it's not in your highest good. Your 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 high, everything that for your highest good will always flow with ease. Okay, um, with the fact that you got purpose, I know what I am here to do. The fact that you got karmic relationships and you got cancer, and then we have the Queen of Wands followed by death. I think that you're realizing here that in the past, or maybe potentially even as you're watching this. There is a certain relationship in your life that has run its course here. This person can be very charismatic, very beautiful, very friendly, very nice, uh, you know, lots of vitality, lots of energy. However, there is a certain um, difficulty, let's call it that, a difficulty in your relationship where it feels very one-sided with this temperance queen of wands energy. Uh, it feels very much like one is doing a bunch and the other is doing nothing. And so there's a wrapping up of a cycle here with that death card. I do feel here that you are also transforming the way that you show up in this world. I also feel like you are realizing that you don't need to be a giver um, in the way that depletes you. Um, it almost makes me feel like you may have run yourself ragged or may have um, may have overextended yourself in the past. 
because of the kindness of your heart, because of how nice you are, because of how much of a good person you are. However, having said that, now you're realizing like, you have to have boundaries. You have to have limits, okay? This could have been because growing up in your home, because cancer rules a fourth house, the home, um, you may have um, realized that, like, there's an importance to nurturing, to loving, to giving to people. But again, there's, like, an off balance, I almost want to say. I almost want to say that something feels, like, a little bit, like, on one end, and you need to restore some, some balance here. This could also have to do with your money, where you're giving a lot of money away or finding yourself spending a lot of money or you make a lot of money, but then you can't save that money. Or there seems to be some sort of... Um, limitation, limiting belief, potential blockage or rewiring, restructuring that needs to happen around your finances, okay? Because of that ace of pentacles following that death. It's almost like the universe is saying, okay, this way you were like super generous, you're super nice, you're always giving, 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 you're such a good person, but like it wasn't resulting in anything good for you other than you feeling depleted and taken advantage of. And so now source is saying, here's this new opportunity for you to heal your abundance, for you to heal how much of a giver you are, right? To your friends here celebrating and to really ask yourself who truly is deserving of um, your generosity, who truly is deserving of your generosity here? Because, and and look, the whole reason we went down this path is because something really magical is happening with your finances this week. Uh, you may get a beautiful opportunity. You may sign a contract. Money may come flowing in really easily. There is something very spectacular happening with your finances. This could even be like a success running in, new opportunities rushing in just really wonderful, auspicious times. And Source is saying, hey, I don't want you to squander this. Additionally, this is a Saturn year. We I haven't talked about that. Maybe I'll make a video of it. Um, Saturn years are years where you have endless opportunities to um, manifest, to co-create. You're limitless, essentially, in what you can bring in. However, having said that, you have to learn how to cultivate and create balance and work hard and create structure and discipline and, and routines in your life in order for that success to stay and to grow and evolve, okay? This is also a year where like, if you try and do anything illegally wrong, it's gonna come back and bite you. I'm not saying you're doing it, I'm just giving you a heads up. Like this to me, chef's kiss. Love this for you, okay? Now, let's dive into your love reading and we're also gonna talk about the fact that you got priestess as your amulet. Priestess is from Star Seed Jewels, it is an amulet. For those of you that are ready to connect with spirituality, your higher self, you want to tune into your psychic abilities, that's what the amulet is there for, okay? We've got flirt, express your love as the last card, and free yourself here, okay? Let's say, do, 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 do. you know, maybe, maybe in the past you thought that you needed to give, give, give in relationships, and now you're realizing that if there is an out of balance with give, 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 yeah, flirt, ten of wands, then, then that relationship is not going to work out, like, there has to be balance free yourself nine of pentacles absolutely this is actually really uh really nice and auspicious can i just get one please um when it comes to your love life i think you're really reclaiming your power here capricorn i think you're really recognizing and realizing the patterns um you know where you thought you, you know you were being a good person you know how they say nice girls finish last it's kind of like that right it's not to say that you're not a nice person it's just you're a nice person with boundaries now you're not just gonna let people step all over you ace of cups at the bottom um and then we got the knight of cups express your love so i think you're realizing now to be a little bit more tame or a little bit more balanced or a little bit more even keel when it comes to your romantic relationships um and also recognizing and um giving space for people to show you who they really are without you just giving everything because to me i feel like you're a very abundant in person i feel like you're a very prosperous person i feel like you, you know for a lot of you you know about your money or you're you're working on that right you're working on becoming a ma money magnet and one of the big lessons for you here especially if you're working on your wealth mindset your wealth energetics uh your finances is to learn who is deserving of your finances and who isn't okay for those of you that want to take any courses with me they're all in the description box below i am hosting a money magnet workshop at the end of february early bird pricing is active right now so go enroll if that's your vibe you can take a look at more information down there amulet also a star sea jewels i'm gonna pop the pluto and aquarius video i just posted right here i think it'll help you a lot with understanding how much potential there is in this year to make a lot of financial stability and a lot of financial security in your life and uh, yeah thank you for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes we will see you later alligators peace out bye